This is unusual for me bringing him up here. Do you understand? The entrance is just down there. I've got his lead, I can't do two hands. Uh, I'm wondering if I can get up to that hedge line without seeing anyone. That would be good. I don't have to turn around and then I'll come back. Or Rex! Rex! This boy. Sniff, sniff, sniff. But, um, the one time I came in here, there's an entrance just down there, and then it goes all, you can go along the main road, and then exit back up there. And that's what I've done. I came along here, along there. But then, there's a guy up here with a load of huskies. And it made me feel so uncomfortable, because he didn't put them on a lead, he didn't call them. And all it takes is one of them to get a bit carried away. Next thing you know, you got like three or four huskies coming out. <laughs> um, all that mud. Makes me a bit nervous, this does. So it's such an open field. It's, it's good and bad because you can obviously see far ahead, get your dog back under control if someone enters the field. But then there's those other people that don't feel the need to put their dog on a lead. Need for a dog on a lead. <laughs> Lots of flowers. But it just gives me a chance to straight. Imagine you'd be great having a piece of land like this just to yourself. But then again, I recently moved uh, last year, late last year. We moved to a house with a, the garden's 105 foot by around 20 foot. So it's a fantastic size. And where we lived before, the garden was probably, I call that wheel spinning. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, before the garden was maybe it wasn't one flat piece of land either it was on levels <laughs> uh, is that manure or just compost anyway the uh, the garden before was maybe 20 foot 20 foot long maybe 15 foot wide but it was terrible you couldn't really use it the open most open part was probably Six by seven. Oh, where's the uh, I used my maps last time to put this. I want to stand this side, or uh, it'd be nice to walk along there so I've got more of you. Because I think the gate's there. Rex, <laughs> Rex, oi, boy, Rex, Rex. Come here, hey! The fuck? You make me look terrible, Rex. Oh boy, bed. Bed's his word. This boy gets so distracted. He's just over a year old, so <laughs> you could say he should be well under control now. Or you could say, yeah, he's just getting used to things. There's a positive and negative for every comment. Rex, I would lie down and pretend to be hiding. <whistles> Bye. Near at school. Rex! Oh, he's, he's gonna come in. Rex! Oh, the locks he found. The thing is, I've noticed before, he knows something is wrong if another dog, say another dog into the field up there, and I called him, he knew something would be up and he'd come to me. Whereas now, he's just freaking doing what he wants. It is manure. Rex! Come here! Oh, this fuck. It's not my language. Rex, come here! See? I've tied him off now. He's coming. Come here! Come here! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you found? What was that? Oi! Come here! You'd be a good boy. Eh? Hey? You've been naughty. Oi! Come here. Come here. You've been naughty. Hey? He hasn't been in a field like this. Well, this big with all these smiles. For a long time. Let's check out this manure and we might head back. Okay? What day is it tomorrow? 
The one time I came in this field months ago, it might have been last year, I did walk up through there. I went on for maybe a three hour walk. But then, the path isn't clear of where you should go, where the gate is. There's one field, and I literally had to climb for a bush, because that was the only place I could get through. Is this a sort of manure you can put in your garden, not on the timbers? Is it? You can't get a car in here, though. I'm gonna hide on the other side. See if he climbs this. Big boy! You big boy! Yeah, look at your face! <laughs> Oi! Dirty! Dirty! You need to take a job. Maybe do a lap around the manure. That could be a new thing. Lap around the manure. Then we'll head back home. We're gonna live five, ten minutes away from here. But like I said, I don't like coming in this field because of the amount of people that let their dog off a lead, just like me. <laughs> but if a dog does come in this field, I'd put him straight onto a lead, and I would expect the owners of a dog to do that, the other dog to do that, but some don't. <sighs> I wonder how big this is in acres. How did they get so much manure? That is absolutely... Absolutely loads. I could use like, two tons of this in my garden. <laughs> the garden's floods. I was hoping maybe stick some of this down to fill it up. And then plant grass seeds. How's it going? I hope you didn't even swear in there. Big boy! You might as well think that's his name, Big Boy, because we always call him. But, talking to my garden. Like I said, recently moved. The garden needs a lot of work. It floods, there's a lot of grass weeds everywhere. The bottom of the garden, the, the last garden section was maybe 15 foot. It's completely overgrown. There's a fallen tree from the neighbour. This is quite tough, this is talking, it was filmed talking. But, um, there's an allotment at the back of our garden. I might just jump this bit. It's been a I've got my walking boots on. Alrighty. What's he gonna do? Oh, that's wet. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> oh, foot sunk. Oh. Do you think we can make it to the bottom of this field without anyone entering? That's the main quicks, boy. Come here. <laughs> um. The last section of our garden is completely overgrown. There's a tree knocked over, and then a neighbour's tree, which is on the fence line, it's only a small fence, has been blew over and knocked our tree over as well. That's why our tree has fallen over. And so, I was going to get rid of these trees anyway, so I can actually make use of the bottom of the garden. I.e. put a shed there, put some black bedding plants there, put a seating area there, whatever I want to do. And so I send the guy that owns the allotment at the bottom of our garden and I says to him I said if I was to cut the tree down in my garden it would fall into your part so I was wondering what you wanted to do with this tree <laughs> he's an old guy he must be in his 60s at least he's had his allotment patch since the 70s so that goes to say he says well why would you want to cut down this tree I says because it's fallen over and it's just in the way, it's just not really doing anything. I think it's dead to be honest. Because no, it's not dead, it, it blooms every year. <clears throat> he basically said it's some sort of a form of plum tree. And so it says it gives nice fruit in the summer. It's like, oh, it looked like just a weed to me because it's got a poison ivy clump all over it. And I've always tried to trim it back. So uh, easier to cut away. And he says, oh, he basically says, one, one no, I don't, how much space are you going to gain from this? Is, is that wet down there? I can walk. Oi! Rex, come on! Come on! Yeah, that's like our garden. 
<laughs> in, the, in the bottom. Puddles. And, uh, he says, well, no, it doesn't. He says, all I do is I duck because it's, it's arched over a part of his allotment. He says, he just uh, ducks under, basically. I says, don't you bang your head? Because I have a few times, but it's not really an issue. I says, well, the neighbor's tree's knocked ours over. And I've spoke to him about it. And he says he will get around to doing it, but hasn't really got a time frame. And so I want to sort this one out as well. I says, because like I said, I could literally, both in my garden, hit the neighbours and this trunk of this one that's fallen into the allotment. I says, but if I cut them down, it's going to cause another issue because it'll just drop into your allotment. And it's probably nine foot long. It's a big branch. I can't really compare it to one of these. Uh, but that tree there, actually, it's probably that thickness, maybe to there. It's it's fallen over. And uh, we have foxes that come into the garden because of the gap that it's made in the fence. And so this, well, we'll call him Steve, <laughs> the allotment guy. He just, and I'm new to the area. This uh, Steve knew my neighbour. He knows all the people along. The, because all the garden's back onto the allotment and he knows all the neighbours. So I'm the new one in town and I want to start cutting down trees, which he wants to keep. I said, well, if you dig it up, you can stick it into your allotment. <laughs> but it would literally be impossible though. And so he just kept saying, no, no, this tree's been here a long time. There's no need to cut it down. How much garden are you going to gain by it? I mean, if it was a small garden, it would take up a lot of space. But because it's a big garden at the bottom, he doesn't feel the need to cut it down, even though it's in my garden. <laughs> and this is the thing, if, oh, how could you do actually? If you're respectful and you ask the person in the, in the allotment how they can go about cutting it down, then you get issues. Like this guy obviously doesn't want his tree to go. But if I was just start cutting the tree down anyway, he wouldn't have a say at all. But because I've asked him what he wants to do and how he wants to go about it, it's now causing issues. I mean, some might say, well, how, how often are you going to see Steve? His allotment looks directly into our garden at the bottom. We could be sitting in our garden and he could just stand at the bottom of our garden looking in. I mean, uh, uh, what's this over here? Let's see how if I can put it into perspective. This is not nice grass. I ain't got none of this grass in my garden. Uh, if anything, this fence is better than the one at the bottom of our garden because as he just posts, I don't know why it goes along. The old style. Get a good view there. Is anyone coming? Rex, we have done well today. Having this whole field to ourselves. Should have brought some treats for you. Practice the recall. Shouldn't we? Talking about Steve. <laughs> but Steve says he's going to speak to my neighbour about what he wants to do with. Uh, the other tree as well and thought well I don't really see what it's got to do with you what our neighbor does with his other tree because all I'm asking is how are we gonna cut down this one that's going from my garden into the, his allotment some blue bells there or whatever they're called I've got a feeling that by the time I get to the bottom someone else is gonna be coming in now I'm getting so warm Rex, big boy. So I don't know what to do about that. It will be a the garden, like I said, the garden's big. It's gonna take a lot of time. I want a lot of tidying up to do. But it's nice to get the ball rolling. If a tree's got to come down, uh, but Steve doesn't want it to go, even though it's not his tree. <laughs> it's just because he's probably seen that tree since it was a sprout. Been there so long. But others people's asking for other people's opinions can sometimes cause problems. Come on, Rex, let's get to the bottom. I'll just quickly see if we can get to the bottom before anyone comes in, and then we'll end it there. Man, if that was your garden, you've just recently moved, and you had the, uh, the decency to ask the guy at the bottom of the garden what to do about the tree, and he says, "Don't get it, don't get rid of it. Basically, keep it." Concentrate on the rest of your garden. <laughs> would you still cut the tree down? Or would you think, you know, Steve's got a good point. Steve's been a long time. 
I'll, actually, I'll, should get some, I'll get some footage for it in the next video so you can get an idea of how big this tree is and what a mess it's making hey Rex can you come here I do like letting him run like this so just keeping on the lid all the time look at him getting rid of that oh is it wet there he loves getting in puddles well guys that was a successful walk this is fairly brilliant. Look how big it is. Oof. Getting sweaty. You had a good time, Rex. You don't want to leave. Well, like I said, leave in the comments. And I will try and get another video at the garden for the next upload. Let me know in the comments what you'd do. And thank you. See you in the next one.